How do you separate yourself from the competition? How do you attract those clients? How do you build your business? Hey, welcome back, Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. One of the things that I'm asked a lot is, what kind of business should I start? What kind of product should I sell? What kind of product should I add to my existing business? One of the problems that I see a lot is people are just trying to match what their competition is doing. They're trying to steal customers from their competition. I'm gonna put a link in the show notes for a book called Blue Ocean Strategies. People focus a lot on fighting in the same waters as everyone else. The water, the waters are bloody. Everyone's fighting for the same customers. Blue ocean strategy is being innovative, doing something new where nobody else is. How can you do that? How can you find that blue ocean? You know, when I started my manufacturing company, looking back in hindsight, we thought we were being different. We thought we were doing things different than a lot of the big guys. But in reality, we were a commodity product. Yeah, we were different from our competition. We were different profiles. We were different colors, all those sort of things. But in the end, it was all the same. They they made stone, we made stone. They had their colors, we had our colors. But it wasn't something really differentiated us. And so in a lot of times it came down to price, it came down to certain things like that, that it was all in the red ocean. You know, one, one way people really like to say they differentiate themselves is our customer service. We have outstanding, exceptional customer service. We go above and beyond. That doesn't separate you. That's not your strategy. That's an expectation. If you wanna stay in business, you better have that. So don't take that as a strategy. Don't think that's gonna make you different than your competition. Make that an expectation of everyone in your company. So one of the things I want you to think about, and it ties in with the blue and the red ocean sum, is are you just fighting your competition to find your customers, to steal customers, to go back and forth? Or is there another way to do it? Think about competition versus collaboration. Is there something you can do different that puts you over in that blue ocean? Think of Apple. They could have just continued to fight head to head with the PC, making better and better products, just trying to outdo each other. Or, they could collaborate. They could create a new industry. They could collaborate with the music industry. When they came out with the iPod and the iTunes store and all those sort of things, it changed the music industry. We were all getting our CDs to all of a sudden 10,000 songs in our pocket. It was something new. It was something innovative. It was something that there wasn't a competitor to fight with. So as you're looking at what your products are or what you can do to change how you approach selling your products or your whole business strategy altogether, how can you find a blue ocean? How can you get innovative and do things different? Even if you have a commodity product, how can you be different with that product in your sales approach, in anything you do, in your packaging? You know, I'll also put a link in the show notes to a previous episode I've done talking about bundling and how you can make it so it's not a apples to apples competition between you and your competitor, but an apples to oranges so people can't price shop, that it's a completely different situation. Make sure to listen to that. If you're an entrepreneur, if you sell products, that's a must listen. But this is something that really needs to happen to help differentiate yourself and take you, your business, everything you do to another level. All right, also, Whatever you're doing, whether you're still on track for 2022, you're excited about your goals, or you got excited and you've already fallen off. I want you to join me next week. I'm doing a free masterclass and I want you to come join me. Go to jeffhagey.com slash bigger future and register for that. We're gonna go through everything from figuring out your uh, future pacing to understanding your why, all of those things, to really diving deep into your mindsets and understanding how you need to take control of your mindsets if you really wanna be successful in your life, work, and leadership. There's a lot to it that you're not even gonna know until you go through this. But check it out, go to jeffhagey.com, bigger future, and make sure to get registered. It's free and love to have you there. Thanks for being with me, I'll be back tomorrow. Hey athletes and parents of athletes, so much time, money, and effort is put into the physical aspect of your sport to become the best you can be. 
But the mental game, it's often neglected and it's just as important as the physical game. In fact, it's usually the differentiator between the good and the great athletes. Come and join me in the Confident Athlete Program where you'll learn to control your confidence, develop a powerful mindset, and unlock your full potential. Go to jeffhagey.com slash confident athlete to find out more. I look forward to seeing you there. Hey, some of you may know this, but in addition to my coaching, I've recently joined Geneva Financial Home Loans, a mortgage lender headquartered in Chandler, Arizona as a mortgage loan originator. I've always had a passion for serving others, and now I'm proud to also be a part of Home Loans Powered by Humans. If you're in the state of Arizona and looking to take the next step in your journey, contact me at 801-830-3858 to start the conversation. NMLS number 42056, BK number 0910215, Equal Opportunity Lender.